What happened a few weeks ago, um, Coach Barto and the basketball coaches came to us. Uh, they saw at Virginia Commonwealth and University. Uh, there's uh, some former Navy SEALs up there that put together a training program for them. So they came to us and they said, hey, no short notice, but can you put something together, something similar to what they're doing for you know our basketball team? And so, you know, I know it's a little bit of short notice, but three weeks I should be able to throw something together. So I came up with the initial concept plan, threw it by them. They loved it. And now we're running with it. Um, the main one that we're trying to build is just team cohesiveness, come together, you know, and then at the same time establish a little bit of mental toughness and, you know, some tenacity just, in, just to build them up, you know, so when they're on their court, you know, they're a little more aggressive on defense. Uh, that was one of the goals that they, the team was looking for, to a little more aggressive on defense, so, you know, that's what we're doing, just building them up, you know, getting them past some mental barriers, you know, because pain's only temporary, as they, used to, as they like to say. And so we challenge them, you know, physically, and then, you know, wear them down physically, and then hopefully their brain kicks over and lets them finish the event. Everybody brings something different to the table, you know. Some kids are a little more physically gifted than the others, and the other ones are the more mentally, mental, uh, the skilled thinker ones, you know. So each, each person brings their own dynamics of leadership to the table. Um, but the whole thing is if they don't work together as a team, the team fails. And it, no different in any team event in sports or team event in the Army. You know, if the Army doesn't work down as a team, it's the same concept. It breaks down. We don't accomplish the mission. So, obviously, the same goals that we do have in mind are victory on the court. And in, in the Army, these future officers will really achieve victory on the battlefield. Well, I mean, everything is building towards around March 9th when the conference championship is. And if you kind of pull back to today, you're trying to build the team. You're just trying to do a lot of things to build toughness and togetherness and chemistry and all the things you need to be, try to become a better team. So, you know, we'd seen other teams doing similar things, and we got with our ROTC people here at ETSU, and they've been unbelievably great to put this thing together. And so I think it'll be great for our team. I can speak as a, as a basketball team. Everybody's an individual. Everybody's very different. Uh, but at the, at the same time, everybody's trying to fight through for that common goal of being as good as we can be and ultimately trying to win and be successful. So, you know, I think something like this with the discipline, the fight through when you get a little fatigued, you get a little tired, obviously the togetherness of being, you know, they put us in little groups and teams and so the the togetherness of trying to be good as part of that group, part of that team. I think this is going to be great for us down the road. And see, you know, we can tell who's leading, who's not leading, who's fighting through, who's not battling adversity well, and hopefully that can help us as we move forward. What's up, Pete? What's up, Pete? What's up, Pete? I think when you look at the makeup of our team, certainly like Rashawn Rembert's our captain, and he's a leader, but he's not super loud and super vocal. You know, Petey's a you know started for us a lot, but he's you know he's a leader by example, and he's probably the toughest toughest hombre on our team. But he's not real vocal. Uh, so we're kind of looking for that. We're kind of trying to identify some things and looking at a new guy like an Alex Bates or a Tommy Williams or a DeSante Bradford to kind of see where they're at. So it's a learning thing for all of us. It's been great. And I say it's been great. I'm a little worn out right now, but it's been a great experience. And Master Sergeant Riley with ROTC has been phenomenal and been leading the way. And hopefully it'll really help us as we move forward as a team. On an endurance type event, we're going to do a little bit of running, some little uh, 
special challenges in there. It's going to be a collective group effort tomorrow. You start as a team, you finish as a team. So essentially, your slowest man, that's as fast as you are. You're as fast as your slowest man. So. Last few days have been, it's been a good time. It's been hard, it's been physically, pushed us physically, pushed us mentally. But uh, it was great for the Fires team bonding, man. We got out here with the guys early morning. It was tough getting up, man. It, it was a good three days. It's a new role for me, but I'm just trying to do as much as I can, you know what I mean, to, to at least be vocal, to be a voice, and, and try to do what I can, lead by example. Uh, I'm not the loudest, not loudest guy in the bunch, but I just try to do what I can to help everybody else out. These last three days, coming out here with the ROTC every morning, bright and early, or it was dark, but it was it was tough coming out and uh, being able to push each other and uh, work as hard as we could every single day. The teamwork, I think it was really strong. The Army, they're all about teamwork every day, and they incorporated that in every event that we had to do. We would be either with a partner or with a group, or in the end where uh, everybody on the team was working together trying to complete everything and finish it out. I definitely will think it's help us later uh, once we get tired in the games and it comes up to the fourth quarter and mental fatigue coming along. Uh, we'll be able to push through it and work through everything and work together as a team. Oh, it was unbelievable. Just all the effort and teamwork and just structure that they have, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for those guys now, you know. When you see it on TV, it's a lot different from when you're actually out there doing it, flipping tires, bear crawling, doing push-ups, cherry picking, all of that stuff. Just the, the, the whole just of teamwork, you know, no leave no man behind. You know, the whole time that we're doing everything, you know, it's, it's great to finish first, but you, if you don't finish as a team, then, then you've accomplished nothing. Oh, it was great. It's, it's, it's a great process to learn, you know, how to become a better leader, you know, especially from, you know, the best leaders in the country, you know, the Army. So it, it, it helps out a lot. You know, I know the younger guys are going to lean on me for advice and stuff like that. But, you know, to be able to go out there and, you know, finish first or, you know, be ahead of the pack and lead them the whole way and stay strong, it really means a lot. It, it's going to do a lot for our team. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Very good. Good morning. Did you enjoy your last few days? Yes, yeah, sir. Good. Thank good. you. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for thanks for coming out and participating with us. I know they had a great time uh, uh, training with you. You just get a little glimpse in of, of what uh, uh, what the army does to, to train its leaders. Um, we're, this is a this is a great unit, real proud organization, and I'm really glad that you all got to uh, share this time with us. So as a token. Uh, a remembrance for you, for your yeah. your pain and suffering and, and fun and enjoyment over the last couple of days. Uh, we have some, uh, we want to present you all with uh, t-shirts here. Uh, this is our battalion t-shirt. We just want to thank Lieutenant Colonel Howie, Master Sergeant Riley for assisting us with this and in terms of discipline, fighting through adversity, toughness, all the things we need to build as a team. But we really appreciate y'all and appreciate you putting us through this and helping us with this. On behalf of our team, this is for Lieutenant Colonel Howie. Oh, wow. And all the team signed that, and there's a polo shirt for you. Okay. And then Jalen for sure, Master Sergeant Riley. Thank you very we really much. appreciate y'all and you. appreciate your help. And then you. we've also got an all-in all -in, T-shirt for every participant. Oh, one, two, three. All in.